George Orwell. George Orwell. Yeah, George Orwell. Yeah. Yeah, man. So our people, because they're blinded in darkness, it tells you in Isaiah that the earth is gonna be um growth, they're gonna be under gross darkness. Gross darkness covering the people. So our people, they trapped in that darkness, man. Especially if they continue to be calling themselves black. They want to stay in the dark, man. You know, they want to stay uh, ignorant, cause that's what that mean. To be to be black, to to be in darkness that that represents uh, 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 sheer ignorance, man. You know, Jake always embraced being ignorant, man. Right. That stigma didn't get on to on us until we were completely ignorant. Right. Straight up, we man. Really yeah. the Israelites. But that fact. Isaiah 65 and 2. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good, after their own thoughts, a people that provoked me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificed in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which, which remain among the graves in the lodge and lodge in the monuments which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels, which say, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Read that abominable vessel. And the Most High is so agitated by Jake when they try to seek out their own righteousness and they and, and basically they govern themselves yep. by their own understanding, their own uh, what they perceive as their own righteousness. Because that, that's what they say. The, the so-called the smartest, most conscious jakes out there, they'll say, "Well, I read everything, and then what makes sense, I put it together." It don't go like that. There ain't no such thing as, as, as gumbo uh, of understanding. Right, abominable <laughs> jambalaya. Yeah, it can't can't do that. Don't go like that because that's what it describes all the different philosophies. Well, well, I am God body, so I'm gonna bring that in. I'm gonna bring in um, the Bible say ye are gods. So I'm gonna bring that in. I'm gonna bring in we 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 gods and kings of the earth. I'm gonna bring that in. I'm gonna bring in the Quran because it say this. We going the way we live, no pork, whatever. I'm gonna bring this. You can't bring all this in, but I love the animals and the clouds like Buddhism, and, and then Zen has got energy and. Jake be all over the place, but the earth is flat. Jake be all over the place and really trying to make one doctrine out of all the bullshit of all the other uh, doctors in the world. Yeah, that pisses the most eye off, man. Yeah. You know, you the Lord, as this is supposed to be holy, this is separate from everything. Yep. All those things that you're trying to bring uh, in with it is actually profane. It's outside the temple. Yep. It ain't even supposed to be uh, mixed, man. You know, all those things are supposed to be remain separate, and we're supposed to come from out of all those things. You know, <laughs> come up out of all those things, man. Touch not the un unclean thing, and I will receive you. Yep. You know, I wasn't just talking about. Uh, I wasn't talking about just meat. food. Yeah, I'm talking about the beliefs. All these idols and these different belief systems, man. Because hey, because when you go into the history, I think that was in, in the epistles, right? When I was written. Yeah. When he said that. We have to deal with all these these Greek-minded people that had all these other philosophies from whatever land that they lived in that were really Israelites coming back to the fold. So they had to be uh, uh, kind of cleansed or, or, or wiped down to kind of be clean so they can start seeing things spiritually and then fully cleanse themselves with the full understanding of the word. But it took a process of, of starting somewhere first. He said, if you can first cleanse yourself, then you can uh, uh, from all these other things then you'll be able to be clean enough to, to move forward. Like we told the guy, hey man, worry about mending your garment on the inside, worry about the outside. Clean that up first. It's um, Jeremiah 2, verse um, 11. Now the nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. Man. I always bring up the, uh, the, the Islam. Yep. When has Allah <laughs> profited right. you niggas, man? Because yeah. every time you seem to meet Allah, you gotta do, you gotta commit a felony first. Yeah, you, you do a hard time. Yeah. You gotta you gotta 
you got to get a long life sentence, <laughs> a, a, a very harsh sentence, and get locked up, and then that's where you go meet Allah at. That, 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 that Allah has not pro profited you, niggas, man. Said a lie. You know? Yeah, Allah is a, a lie, man. Okay. This whole black unconscious shit. What, what good is that doing for you? You know? What, what good is all that Kemet shit? What, what is what is that really doing for you? Your black ass is still living in the J's, all right? You, you, you still getting oppressed. Esau still looked down on your ass, you know? You What good is you knowing the, the, the Egyptian hieroglyphs and trying to break that down? What, what is that doing for you right now? Yep. What's you that know? gonna do for you in the future? Come on, man. When all, when all this, well, like we read in uh, Second Peter, when all this uh, is about to be dissolved, what good is that gonna do you? Yeah. Seeing that all the heavens and earth about to be dissolved, but wait. These niggas stuck in ancient Egypt. Egypt, that shit went. Yeah. It's the reason why Egypt to this very day has not. It, it never came in. The, it never came back into power, man. Okay. If you keep looking back into the past, that means that you niggas don't really, you are uncertain about your near future. Okay? The scriptures tell about uh, trusting in the shadow of Egypt. Go ahead. 12. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith Yahweh by Hashem Shai. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me the fountain of living waters, and hewn them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Yep, broken cisterns, man. Does Jake say like this? Nah, I don't want to stay by the water and keep sipping as much as I can possibly remain in my body. I'm going to pick this dirty ass, nasty ass, broken ass bottle, and I'm going to try to put something in Whatever I can hold in there, before you turn around, it's empty. You know, you be at the beach yeah. trying to build, get water from the ocean, <laughs> a holy ass cup, and if, before you make it back to the sand castle, the, the cup is empty. That's these niggas trying to hold wisdom. Y'all never gonna, y'all never gonna ever uh, fully get the wisdom because you you, you forsaken the the the, uh, the, uh, the wisdom of the Most High God, the fountains of living water. More? Or? Okay. Is Isaiah one and three? The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Yep. But Israel doth not know. My people do not consider. Hey, they don't. They don't fully understand uh, who it is for them. They don't know. They don't know that the Most High God is for you, for you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. That that's your God, the God, the God of all the universe is your God, your personal God, as you like to say. Okay? And no other nations. But you want to go off and be in every other wooden doctrine and, 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 and idol and, and whatever else. Jake want to commit a whoredom. Yeah. They want to they go play the harlot with, see, with, who, many, who, with many lovers. Who, who's, whose sex is better? Spiritual. Yeah. Uh, spiritual fornication. Yeah. Huh? That's, that's, that's it. <laughs> Jake. Hey, Jake is just like Babylon. Yep. You think about it. Jake is confused. They bugged out on all that that juice, yeah. you know, because Babylon is, a, is the great whore. America, you know, she's <laughs> every philosophy, everything you can think of, you could be found right here in, in Babylon. Man. Particularly, you can sleep with whoever you want and not be judged for. Yeah, exactly. So you can you can freedom of religion. It's top one of the top of the laws here. Was that a law? That's the that's uh, in the, uh, the First Amendment. The First Amendment. Yeah. The Bill of Rights, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right in there. So that's a staple. Uh, of this country, and that ain't right. The Most High God, according to this book, ain't about that. But you know what was beautiful, and I, I mentioned it. This is how you know this is the land of our punishment because the essence of Babylon is, is to remind us of why we even being punished. Because just like Babylon is a is a whore, Israel has been the the, the, yeah. uh, the whore to the Most High, man. Right. Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna punish you in the Great War. <laughs> you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out, take both of y'all out. Yeah. You become, you, you're just as corrupted as, as the land of your uh, punishment, man. Right. That's why I'm punishing you in that yeah. place. Yeah. You know? Okay. Um, 
Amos chapter 6, verse 1. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion yep. and trust in the to mountain. The Israelites. Not, it's not talking about the land of Zion. It's talking about the, the, the monument, the people. Yep. You know, woe to you that are at ease. What is it going to say? In Zion uh -huh. and trust in the mountains of Samaria, which is America, yep. which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. Isaiah 1 and 4, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are going away backward. Hey, cause you, I mean, you think about it. If your woman, you was constantly catching your woman and she's giving attention to other men, she, she uh, secretly got pictures in her phone of other men. She lusting after these men in, in her phone. Are you not going to be angry at your woman? You're going to be pissed. you going to like, yo, you know, I'm the one that provides for you. I'm the one that, you know, put put them nice uh, trinkets on you. You know, you got your, your, your hair done. You got your, your oil. You smell good. I'm the reason why you look good, man. I made you. I made your ass. You secretly want to go and, and, and deal with these other men? When, when you deal with these other men, <laughs> they beat the shit out you, they, they slap you, they, you know, degrade you, you know? Huh? You got a question on You got a question? What's, what's, what's the question? All right, uh, so I... Lawyer Bill. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> he says, uh... <laughs> so what should we do should we speak into prophecy to the things that we do not see? Of course, because it's about faith. It's all about getting us get a human. That's what prophesying is. Say before we can see it happen in reality. Just right. get us get us get the Hebrews to let you Hebrews look, yeah. Eleven and six, man. Yeah, he because really Jake don't, don't have right that. Through. That's like the apostle always say. In order to really uh, uh, believe in this thing, you gotta have vision. Yeah. If you don't have uh, vision, you ain't gonna understand this thing. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna if you it. can't go back and see the reality of, 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 of this one, the breakdown of, of uh, Adam and Eve and the serpent, that interaction. If you if you can't if you don't have vision to see the reality in that, you're not gonna understand these scriptures. It, it makes a lot more sense to be envisioned that uh, a, a slick ass nigga came up. You probably like to play that role, right? Yo, guess what, man? We should do this. We can be like gods if we do. If we eat this and we learn this and that. Same thing. You got. You got to. You got to have the type of vision to see it like that. Go with your precept. First Samuel chapter nine verse nine. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer, for he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Yep. So it makes it clairvoyant, man. Yep. Clairvoyance means to see clearly, yep. see in the future, man. Yep. You know, see in the future through the prophecies, you know, of the, of the Bible, man. That's right. You know, that's how we know the chip is coming. That's how we know uh, World War Three is coming. That's how we know thermonuclear missiles are coming. Yep. All right. Being destroyed. Exactly. The economy collapsing. Martial law. And what's confirming these things is. Brothers already having uh, uh, dreams. Dreams as well as some. With brothers' wives are having visions and dreams about everything that we've been talking about. Yes. Which is confirmed in the scriptures, man. Yep. You know? As, it, as the scriptures said, it would happen also. Yeah. You read it earlier, right? Yep. Somebody get uh, Proverbs 20, 29 and uh, 18. Also, um, say also, the current event things that we see happen. If we see that uh, the NDAA Act, we see these martial law troops, well, what, what do they need MRAPs for? And hollow point bullets and guillotines. And guillotines talking about the prophets being beheaded. So we we seeing how these things line up. Yep. Yep. Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish, yep. but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Read that again. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Vision. 
Meaning you gotta have that foresight, man. Yeah. When you read these scriptures, you gotta visualize it when you read it. Hey, anything you do in life, man, so whether it's sports, whether it's uh, uh, building a car, building a house, if you don't have vision to see what it can, it, it can be, uh, creating art, whatever, music, if you don't have vision to see what it can be before you start, then, then you're never gonna get that done. You know? Kind. That's the task. And you gotta have faith that it will be completed. Because the integral ingredient to that is faith. Because, 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 uh, think about it. If you have, okay, I got, I bought some. I, I want to build a house. Okay. You know, but I don't have an axe yet. So I gotta build an axe, or I gotta go buy an axe. You gotta start from the ground you up. Start from the ground and, up. And, and faith, go, and confidence is uh, into faith too. Yep. You know, because you gotta, you gotta believe that. That you, what you you have to believe that you're working for it, you know. Yep. You have to believe that you could potentially be of that number too. That that you can accomplish it. Kind. Because yeah. we're doing the work of we're doing the work of those men, you yeah. know. So you have to truly believe that hey, if I continue, Lord willing, the Most High allows me to continue to fight, that I could potentially be of the elect number. Yep. You know, you gotta truly believe that. The, I mean, the the word is on you. He put the spirit on you as he was doing the men of before. So you have to believe that you could you could be that. You could be. That's what we say, Lord willing. Yeah, now now as humble as we are and we know to speak from that humble position, like the apostles say, but who else is doing it the right way? Who else is doing it the right way? If this ain't the right way, show us the 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 the, 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 the ones that's doing it the right way. Right, we're the ones doing it the right way. That that we're the ones following the Salaki, bro. We're the ones following the blueprint that the Bible told us to follow for those that will earn sal uh, salvation. So if we're not the ones doing it, who's the ones doing it? So we're confident in that, but not, not enough to boast that and make ourselves of the number, though. We're too, we're, we, we have to remain humble, because the Most High can do anything. I got a real quick. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 1, verse 37. I'm going to start 36. It says, they have seen no prophets, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. And now, brother, uh, Salah. And now, brother, behold what glory and see the people that cometh from the east. Are basically, um, uh, you're gonna have uh, uh, this is during that during that time, uh, 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 Prophet Ezra, he was talking about the Israelite foreigners that was actually gonna believe on the words of uh, uh, the disciples, preaching of uh, Yahweh Shai, man, that that they're gonna receive the gospel without even having to have seen Yahweh Shai, man. Right. They have. Uh, the right that's now. why through faith. Was how uh, it was. They, they, um, they were gonna be made uh, righteous, man. God, it was through faith. Uh, you, you gotta bring that out, cause see, seeing me not, but yet ye believe. That's what you just read, right? I was in, I was in Second Ezra's. Right, I just read that. Yeah, read that. Hebrews 11 and one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hey, the substance. I always like to make a point of this. The substance of things hoped for. Of, of expectation, there's a substance in expectation. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand how deep that really goes. That's why the scripture says, uh, "Hope deferred maketh the heart sick." Yeah. When your expectation, you realize your expectation ain't gonna be met. You get all messed up in, in your mind. You know what it say? The uh, evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. What's that? Fruit to the spirit. These dreams. These, these, these. The. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 current events that's lining up with the prophecies. It ain't fulfilling the prophecies yet, but they're lining up with the prophecies. Like the chip is out, uh. but it ain't mandatory like the scriptures say yet. You see, I had to throw yet on it, right? right? You know, because I believe. I know that that's what that is. I don't have any doubt about it. Go ahead, bro. Scott, you can jump down to six. No, just read, just read down. For by it the elders obtained a good report through faith. We understand. But why did the elders obtain a good report? And, and, and when you read all the way down in that chapter, uh, uh, Paul goes through it and explains to, 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 the, to, the, to the people what the elders did to show their faith. How, how, they, how they took something that was intangible but made it 
everything that they were, were uh, uh, um, stabilized with to, uh, to prove their actions. Because that's what the Most High requires. We can't see the Most High God, but do you believe He's real? Just like we don't see the air, but do you believe it's real? There's evidence down here for that. Go ahead, bro. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, uh -huh. so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Hey, and there's, there's proof in science, right? Because they go through and break down the element table and break everything that, that they know down into, into the element table chart. I forgot how many it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch, bunch. It's a bunch. It's over 